Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Ayaz Tech. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to translate your Angular application using NGX Translate. This is a powerful library for internationalization and it can help you to reach more users worldwide. So let's get started. Firstly, we need to install NGX Translate library in your Angular project. You can do this by typing this command in your terminal. npm install and dash dash save press enter once installation is finished let's import the translate module in our app.module.ts file open the app module create this http loader factory you have to import a module http client module first so make sure to import it here as well Now we will return an instance of translate HTTP loader and pass it the, pass it the HTTP service. We have to import the HTTP loader. Currently HTTP loader is not available. You have to install it first. So in your terminal type npm install ngx dash translate slash HTTP dash loader. Save it press enter once that is done you will see the suggestions here for the http loader now import this class and instantiate it like this now we need to import a module that is translate module dot for root make sure to import this module like i did here from the core and here we will use for root and in the root we will pass some options pass an object and first of all we need to create a loader in the loader we will create an object in that object we will have provide and in the provide we will use the translate loader make sure to import it as well from the angular translate core now we will use the factory that we just created and after that add dependencies we depend on the http client service so i will try to explain a little bit here so in this code we have used a pre-built loader translate http loader which loads trans translation files over http http from a given endpoint in a real world scenario the endpoint could be static file server or a dynamic api that serves the translation files now let's create a json file with the translation for this demo let's create en.json and es.json files for english and spanish translations so in the app directly i will create a folder translations in that i will create new file en.json then i will create es.json okay in the en.json i will add an object hello and the value would be hello world all right i will copy paste it and move it in the es.json file as well but in this case it would be a different in a different language let me translate it from google so this is the translation in spanish i will paste it here great now we have our translation setup let's see how we can use these translations in our component so when using the translate http loader that comes with the ngx translate http loader it defaults to the loading json files from the assets slash 118n so i will make some changes in this so instead of having this name i will rename it to 1i 18 n and then i will move it in the assets folder so it will automatically pick it from the assets folder for us now in our app.component.ts file we need to inject the translate service and use it to change the language so let's take a look at how to do that create a constructor here and inject the service that is all right now in the constructor we will set the default language for this translator set default language and here i will specify english and we will create a function uh, use this keyword here now create a function switch language and we will receive the language in the parameter and we will use this dot translate 
dot use and give it the language that you want to use now open your html and in the html i will get rid of all of the code that we had earlier and i will simply add a div in that i will add hello string and then i will use the pipe translate that is available because of the library that we installed now below i will add two buttons and one button will say english and we will call a function on click that would be switch language and we will give it the parameter en so that it could switch to the english language and then i will create another button that is spanish and i will give it es as the parameter now test it open your browser you can see we have two buttons now if i click on spanish you can see that the text has been translated in the spanish if you click on english it will be translated to the english so i will add another language now i will add translation for the french language so go back to your assets folder and here i will create another file and its name would be fr and now i will get the translation of hello in french in french this is how you can say hello and give it the value now go back to your app dot component i will add another button that would be for french and use fr now let's test it if you click on spanish it will be spanish if you click on french you will see the word in the french and you can also change the default language currently we have set english you can set fr the default language so that when you open the browser you will see the all of the text in the french language there are many other use cases of this library that you can implement a common use case for this library could be an application where users have the ability to set their preferred language setting once they logged in the language of the entire application could be dynamic set to match their preference another use case is to use a drop down so consider a situation where you want to provide a drop down menu for language selection in your application's navigation bar or settings menu ngx translate would allow users to switch languages on the fly and the entire application language would be updated instantly to reflect their choice and the next use case is the e-commerce are multi region applications in the case of multi region e commerce sites you might want to translate not just static text but also dynamic content like product descriptions user reviews etc this can be achieved using ngx translate next use case can be the content management system if you are developing a content management system you could use the ngx translate library to translate the dynamic data like user generated content or custom fields on the fly another use case is that loading translations from various sources depending on the complexity of your application you might need to load translations from multiple sources such as a local json files apis or even from databases the custom loader functionality in ngx translate allows you to handle all these scenarios each of these situations showcases the versatility and and usefulness of ngx translate in real world angular application it provides a robust solution for localization making your apps more accessible to users from various regions and linguistic backgrounds all right that's it for today's tutorial we have learned how to use ngx translate to internationalize your angular application this is a powerful tool that can help you to reach a global audience if you have any questions or comments please leave them below don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tutorials thanks for watching see you next time